Hey, it's Tom again, CEO and co-founder of Buddy Boss, and today I am super excited to share with you what we've been up to in this month of May. In this video, I will tell you about updates from our customer success, customer support, and marketing teams, updates on Buddy Boss web, including web push notifications and live messages, and updates on the Buddy Boss app, including major developer toolkit updates, access controls, and iOS universal links. And I'll also tell you about our executive team trip to Morocco where we work together on reviewing the company's next priorities and spend time planning product priorities that we will focus on during the second part of this year. And before I start with the updates, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you're always up to date with what's happening at BuddyBoss. And I wanted to begin by apologizing for the slower than normal support response times over the last 30 days. With the launch of the Buddy Boss 2.0, our support team received a much higher number of tickets than usual, which slowed down our response time. The team has been working hard to catch up with all the tickets, and we expect the response time to go back to normal over the next month. To help speed up the process and to help prevent this from happening in the future, we also hired seven new technical support agents who are currently in training and who will soon start contributing to the team effort taking the customer support team size to 45 members. Our customer success team has done over 47 customer calls over the last 30 days with BuddyBoss app customers. The success team is also working on a new and improved onboarding process for the BuddyBoss app, which will include office hours during weekdays. The team also welcomed Rafayet as a new customer success specialist. Rafayet has worked in various teams across the company prior to moving to the customer success team. And as part of improving the customer experience, we are also working on a design refresh for the BuddyBoss account area to provide a unified experience with the new website. And lastly, we're working on updates to the documentation website to make it easier to find relevant information and to also align it with the look and feel of the new BuddyBoss website. And on the agency side, I'm really excited about the new projects that the team has been delivering over the recent weeks. The Buddy Boss Agency has helped in the launch of a number of new community websites and mobile apps, including the new Zora's House community and the Digital Safari community. And previous projects have included creating websites or mobile apps for Founder, the Harvard Business Review, AVAC, the American Farm Bureau, and many more. At Buddy Boss, we understand that every customer is unique. Every customer has their own idea, a project with specific requirements that addresses the specific needs of their audience. And our agency is always here to support you in that journey. So if you need help with your project, you can go to buddyboss.com agency and reach out to our agency team. Our account executives will then schedule a discovery and consultation session with you to help understand your project and work on providing you with the best solution. And on the content side, the new Buddy Boss podcast is almost ready and will be launching over the coming days. The new podcast will include interviews with successful Buddy Boss customers, interviews with other software partners, interviews with Buddy Boss staff, and other types of content. The podcast will launch with the first three episodes that include an intro episode and two other episodes, including an interview with Anna Sharp and another interview with Abdullah Nail Williams. More episodes have been already recorded, including an interview with Ryan Carlock and others. So that's it for the success, support, agency, and content updates. Let's now get into the product updates. Let's start with Buddy Boss Web. Since the release of Buddy Boss 2.0, we've received a lot of valuable feedback from all of you, and we've been busy fixing issues and bugs, as well as improving compatibility with third-party plugins. And now, the team is working super hard to release the web push notifications feature and the live messages. The web push notifications feature will allow members to subscribe to notifications through their web browser. It includes an integration with OneSignal for sending out the notifications, setting a custom notification icon, and other settings for configuring this feature on your website. This feature is on track to be released towards the end of June. The live messaging feature will allow members to send and receive messages instantly, both on the web and the mobile app. The team has made great progress on this feature, and it is now expected to be released during the month of July, which is slightly behind schedule. And on the BuddyBoss app side, we just released a major update to the developer toolkit. You now have the ability to select which branch to build your app from, which gives you access to our app development branch. This feature allows our support team to add hooks into the development branch as soon as they're coded and before they're even released for immediate access. 
And we've published a video tutorial showing you how this works and how you can take advantage of it during the development process. And you can find the link to the video in the description below. We also released a major feature allowing you to now integrate native libraries into your BuddyBoss app, opening up custom app development to hundreds, if not thousands of new potential integrations such as intercom, admob, chatbots, single sign-ons, and so much more. This feature requires a substantial amount of changes to the core app code, which means that you will need to follow steps to upgrade your custom dev Git repo to be able to use this feature. And we've made two video tutorials walking you through the process and the feature itself. And you'll find links to the video tutorials in the description below. We're also still working on the access controls feature. This feature was scheduled for earlier this month, but the team is having to do a lot more testing than previously anticipated, which is causing more delays. So we're giving them a couple more sprints to wrap it up and finally release the new feature. So that's it for product updates. I am super excited about the live features that we're about to release, and I'm super happy with the upgrade we've done to the developer toolkit. This major update will allow for even more flexibility in the BuddyBoss app than what was previously possible. And we're seeing more and more software companies integrate their product with BuddyBoss, or even create a whole new product that extends BuddyBoss products and opens them to even more possibilities. One of these new products is Blockly. This new plugin, which is currently still in beta, looks super promising. The plugin allows you to extend the BuddyBoss app's feature set by creating new blocks, app screens, and features with ease. The plugin takes advantage of the advanced functionality available in the BuddyBoss app developer toolkit to extend the app's functionality. And I can't wait to see the final version in action. I've also added a link to Blockly in the description below. And before I end this video, I'd like to tell you about our executive team meeting last week that was held in Morocco. Our executive team meetings provide an opportunity for the BuddyBoss leadership team to spend time together, plan the next company priorities, including new products, features, and improvements to everything we do. It's also an opportunity for the leadership team to do fun activities and build stronger relationships, which helps improve how we work together. We have a lot planned for the rest of the year, and I can't wait to see it all come together and see how much more of an impact we can create. So that's it for today's update. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so you can be notified when we post a new video. And we'll see you in June for the next BuddyBoss update, where we'll likely start experimenting with other formats for the update video. Hey.